Liquid versus NIP. James and Mitch take it away. Mid control after walking up short, but look at Link. Ooh. He's playing the jet shorty. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely <laughs> love it. <laughs> oh, he just dashes and puts the smoke down. He's still going to hang around. Oh, he's avoided that. I might not expect this. It works out perfectly. Oh. He's getting both of them. Link destroying him with a shorty. Upgrades the pistol as well. Scream in the meantime has managed to find Lucker. Nip getting onto the site. They're going to get the spike down. But the madness has already unfolded straight off the back of Link's heroic play. It's 4v2 now. And it's all on for Nip to try and hold on to this as best as they can. Fearoff's already been tanked up quite a bit as well. Luckily, his omen is going to be able to hold the back lines there. But his push has come straight in. The jet fast and furious. He's able to deliver, but it's only to one liquid run around the corner. They slap him around a bit and they grab that pistol with three alive. They're becoming their go-to as well. They want to try and challenge the likes of G2 on it. On the upside, this is going to be a very easy round. Just classics to play up against. And okay, they've lost Cryptics. This could oh, get scream. a little dangerous. Scream just ran into the molly. Didn't give a damn. Now, they've done good damage towards NIP, but it is definitely getting a little bit scary. These classics we know can do a lot of damage if they're given the opportunity. And honestly, if they just find one or two more kills, especially if they can make sure that these players aren't able to get to those weapons and mm. retrieve them, that could be massive. They know there's a player A long now. They've just heard that orb being taken. On the back of that, they realize there's probably a gap. And so in towards the spawn, they go. Looking to try and get a bit of a sneaky play on go, maybe catch someone off guard. But it is being looked at by the Phoenix. Playing at long range, not a problem so far for him. Echo skills with Lucker as well. Going to leave Cree on a little bit of health. 47 still to play with, but they've got a good idea of where he'll be hanging about. He's just trying to hold on and hope he might be able to pick up just one more kill. That's the best option he's got here because get out of there. Or he'll have to dry peek straight on past that operator. Straight up in it. Goes out with as many players facing him. He's unable to land the shots onto Lucker and Cree deals with him with pretty much ease there. Link goes in for the shot, but it's just going to skip on by. He has to duck his way out of there. Soul Gas flashing his way in. Spots the Sova, but he can't get the kill. And that's a problem. They're getting the information, but they're not finding any success off the back of it. Nip have so much control here at mid. They've got it all. They've got it locked down. And they're looking for the fights as well. Eccles caught up close, but he manages to take down Kree. Kree thought the distraction play would have been enough. The players on short spam in a way that he could catch them off guard, but that's not the way. As Team Liquid pull it back into a four versus four, this is much more doable for them now, Banks. They've managed to spread back out into a two-man hold on each side, but that means mid is completely open. Oh. But flash, so good by Solkus. Perfect flash. Link is there to back him up, but they're trading out. It's gone in Liquid's favor, but not for too long. Ryan believes it's his time, and he's now in the 1v1, but with 15 seconds just to go, he's got a lot of work to do. The flash has gone out, but Eccles, he doesn't want to... It looks like they're not quite sure how much they want to commit towards this, but it's going to be a fast play out on B. Oh. Soul Gas, got to be careful a bit on those flashes, my friend. Hip just standing Ooh. far too long. What is he doing? He jumped up into it, tried to back away, but it was far too late. This is not looking good for Nip early on, but Liquid, they just need to hold on to the site now. They got Soul Gas in the back line. He's trying to hold on to Boat House, but is it even going to be good enough? Lucker pushing on forward, but Scream, he's managing to handle it for now. Liquid, they charge on, only losing Soul Gas thus far. Right, Fear off, going to play right off the edge, and the position's going to be known. He doesn't have too much health either. He's even going to get tagged up from that as well. And look at the amount of aggression that's just been thrown their way. Oh, he got Molotov nano swarmed and killed by a turret. Like, that is, that is the most this punishing round huge. I've ever seen. Goes straight for the turret. Doesn't check his corner, though. Link's there to back him up. Nicely done. I love the two-man push on that. So even though it's an ult that didn't work out in terms of getting Soul Cast a kill, Link's there to pick up the pieces anyway. Really nice stuff. That is how you use a Phoenix ult. It's for information to potentially take a duel and to set your teammates up for Ooh, the trades. No. But NIP, talking of trades, they've come through, traded out two kills for the bomb site. Now they've got the spike planted and a three versus three where all the ults are in play for NIP. Is it going to be enough though? Lynx popped his ult. Wants to try and charge on forward. The door's being closed, but they can easily destroy it and work their way through. I love this from Link. He's checking all the back lines. He's making sure that no one's going to be able to try and flank him. Kree can hear what's going on, but is it going to be enough for him to react on it? 
The smoke gets put onto place, as well as the flame wall. I'm loving it as the push comes in, but Kree's position is absolutely huge. He's just wrecking them one at a time. It's only Cryptic's left, and this is far too much for him to handle. He may as well just back the hell out of here. Yep, saving the weapon is definitely the right call. Good round by NIP. They get the... It doesn't happen. I once made Yampi laugh. It was a happy day for me. <laughs> it's when you considered a career in comedy, like... It's like, oh my god. <laughs> I'm a god at this. But this is good for Nip, though, Mitch, right? They've got themselves a very key round. They fought back, and they held on to three players alive at the end there. Ready, though, the Killjoy ult coming out. Soulcast's position is going to be known. He's trying to spam them down, but the knives are thicking out from Lucker. Nip pushing their way in. Oh, the right click. It doesn't pay off for him. Cryptics is there. They've got some good backup in the side. He's just spamming it up. And Nip are being torn to shreds. That push onto the B site got absolutely ended by Liquid. And they're fully ready for it. Kree is the only one left alive now. Well, I don't think he's going to do a whole lot. We said he was a player we expect a lot from and obviously didn't deliver massively yesterday. But 1v3, it's a difficult position. He doesn't know he's a player close. This should be. He swings through. To play so aggressive, you don't have to play that fast. You can almost wait and bait out a lot of the abilities coming out of here from Liquid and then try and use that as your time to strike. Against this kind of a comp, you oh, cannot go. No. No. Solkus has been wrecked on that early push. Kree was ready for it. The Flash not fully catching all of them. And with that, that's a bit of a disastrous start, isn't it? You even look yeah. at where the Nano Swarms are placed. They're on default and they're towards short, but nothing for that run through the choke point. Eccles bravely takes a fight in towards short. He's pulled that right back and then ran away immediately. What weapon did Lucker have there? He didn't have an operator, right? Because they just lost one, so I doubt he'd be able to buy it up straight off in a second. So hopefully just expending a Vandal early on there, but still a big pickup for Eccles to find. Scream's in a good spot, but it's one that can easily be checked. Nip still want to try and commit to this ace site. They are ready and waiting for it. Oh, the timing. Oh, no. Not a good ult from Rhyme. Scream, he's got to be oh so cautious. The timing's working out for him. He still gets the kill on the hip. The success starting out on the attacking side. Again, they're versus a composition that I doubt they've ever played against. I mean, this is a wild set of picks by Liquid. Ooh. It seems to be working for now. Oh no, who to aim at first? Solgas is good for one. Echo's looking to spray the rest through. He's got some backup from the Killjoy turret there. Link as well coming into the mix. Fero's able to deal with him, but... The latest update as well, you see the amount of re-aggression opportunities that Liquid are leaving themselves open to. Just there in that previous round, the fact that Eccles was able to just keep on flashing. He only used two, but he used, uses them much more liberally Ooh. now that he's got so many. Solkus down straight away. Looker just ran up on short, took that opening. Eccles is still poking, prodding, and trying to take him down. He gets it in the end, but he's being pursued. Kree up close, oh, and he's nice. taken down by the ult, but Eccles has to do it all now. He's already he got himself one, but there's two more to get. How of games do they win the game in? I feel like they're, just from watching them, I don't feel like they're a team that makes comebacks all too often. Like, to me, NIP maybe at least recently go into a little bit of tilt mode. That's from looking at the cams. That's from what we were seeing. There wasn't a lot of energy. Now, not all teams are like that, but that'd be my guess. Here's the old, through the spawn? Oh, three. <laughs> Scream, you gotta be oh so what? careful, buddy. You're being pushed. How is he staying what? alive? What is this? Oh, this is why you don't deal with Scream on a Rainer, man. As if he's just bunny hopped out of there as well. Like, just doesn't give a damn. Oh, hey, yeah, about his mechanics. It's all about the one taps right now. I'm talking about his mechanics all day long. He's so good when it comes to this Rainer. But Ryan, well, he believes it'll be better this time around. It's only going to be Eccles left as well as Nip. Actually going to be able to get a couple of rounds here, but it's so back and forth at these beginning parts. Liquid thrown out that aggression, but at least Nip are finding a way to deal with it now. Uh, that's one hell of a start uh, for Liquid either way. 7-3, uh, presuming this 1v3 doesn't go their way. Uh, in, in fact, even in terms of attempting it, I don't know. Uh, they've won a lot of rounds, but they've taken a lot of damage in the interim. It mm. seems to me that the credits down the bottom are right. Uh, they seem to be swapping whenever we switch over players. I think they fixed that in the recent patch. And so off that, I, I, I'm pretty sure Liquid don't have a lot of cash. I would rather the save come through from Eccles, but he's evidently feeling confident. He wants to go for it. Has By the way, for you guys at home, 
Just so you know, uh, each team has got two tactical pauses that they can call throughout the game. 30 seconds long each. There's oh, a push by Solkus. Oh my god. The Stinger getting right up in their face. Cryptic's missing that Marshall shot, but Scream's able to find Hip either way. Now he's going to go out and have a look towards A main. See if Nip's going to be able to try and put it onto the site. Scream. Oh, it's actually no. It was Cryptic's there. So Scream backed away. He's completely fell out of the situation. Come all the way round, and Ryan was already too far up into the site. Full control again. Lost here by Liquid. Yeah, this was this was a force buy, a semi force buy. They've gone in for stingers, marshals. It wasn't the the biggest investment they can make. They've still got most of their abilities for the next round as well. So in terms of investment, it won't cripple them. They've called that pause just to make sure they maximize their investment right here and now. Link with a nice opening, gone for the ult, committed it in. He has smoke still. He's trying to distract the player and have it get them to come up behind, but he's clearing out under. And now has a read on where this guy is. Comes up above. Still have a perfect buy in this round. That's good, you know, to really assess what your excess is and not just go a couple pistols here oh. and have 1k left over and the next that is so dangerous cryptics has been hit by every ult on the planet echoes and soulcast doing a good job of holding it down it's still in liquid's favor either way oh but the detainment's come in he's trying to move in time but it's not going to work out luck and vibes are flying and he's starting oh. off with one but that's all he's going to get Liquid are pushing back on it. It's a 2v1. They know exactly where Firoff is. He does have the Odin. He's trying to pre-fire it a bit. Shock Dart's going out, but it's not going to connect with anyone for now. He's ready and waiting for it. Still expects the B-Push to come in. Oh, they, so they're selling the fake towards A. That's not going to work out. Great push coming out from Liquid here. Nip didn't have a clue what was going on. Rhymes now getting pushed over by Scream, and it's just headshots delivered from start to finish. Kree's all alone in a 1v4. That spike going down. He may have 100 health, but still, this is a big ask for one man. And look at the positions. Liquid are everywhere. Yep, that is heartbreak right in the, in the rounds. They need Doctor Strange to find that. Now, for me, Mitch, right? When you're in a position like Liquid are now, it's more just... Okay, this is working against a team like NIP, at least even on their map pick, right? But you know that Nip showed us a little bit more when it came to Haven last time. How confident is it going to be with this composition when it comes to that as well? There's a lot of mind games that will come into this going into the second map for sure. And I'm talking a bit like maybe Nip could be down and out of it. The edge of this with the shorty. Oh, they even lined up for him. But not enough damage. Couldn't get it off. Couldn't get it done. Oh, that's just so unfortunate. What a position to hit that on as well. Ryan think, just like, can I move? Oh, no, great. He was almost definitely aiming for market on that one and just happened to hit him in the spawn as well. Worked out really well. Link, oh, oh he's tapping away. What? Looks like he's in a firing range. And now he's in a little bit of trouble. Shock Dart <laughs> finishes him off. But there's no, there's no weapon to be upgraded. He only had a ghost himself. So on the back of that, if Firoth does save, all he's saving is, is a ghost. Ah, ah, avoid the turret. Got to be careful of that one. Oh, we, we, you know what, we keep talking about it, right? Link and those headshots, man. That's why it doesn't matter what agent he's on to be. Yeah, the Sage nerf, he, he really wasn't happy with it at the end of you. You could feel his pain when he was talking <laughs> about it. Arrow, or more importantly, when he uses the recon drone, he doesn't have the ability to instantly capitalize. That was what I loved about G2's approach in that they had different players, one spamming and one was the one trying to find the information for them. It's not the biggest of deals, but it is just a, a tiny thing that can really help you out. This slow pace coming out from Liquid. Okay, they're still just over a minute on the clock, but they're just really biding their time. Echo's going to get them set up and ready for it. Straight dashing in. Link, knives are out. Oh, they don't even have any idea how far he got in. Hip just gets sideswiped. He's lost. He's stunned. He's confused. And already they're in the site and there was no resistance. Look at the health. Everyone on Liquid is living the dream. Reminiscent of the previous time we saw G2 get up behind Hip over on the B site going for the teleport in behind in the boathouse. Feels like Hip's been uh, caught oh. off guard in this map quite a bit. Looker's good for one, but he's reloading as he comes around the corner, and that's going to allow Scream to reload his HP. Not that he needs it. Didn't this has need been it, a, yeah. Yeah, it's been a <laughs> clean round for Liquid. If Firoth, Odin left to one versus four, he gets it onto Link, shutting down the ulti, but...
you got to think as well for liquid, right? Everyone was slamming them yesterday. Oh, you can't have no smokes. Oh, it doesn't make sense. And this wasn't just community, yep. right? This was pro players giving it to them. And they're like, nope, it worked in practice. We believe in it. We know what can work. Sliggy is obviously worked something out alongside the rest of the team of how they want to make this happen. And right now they're proving it against NIP. They're saying, cool, who's going to have the last laugh right now? Oh, no, Cree. Trying to bunny hop away, but it's not going to work out. You still get tagged up. And look how far Eccles has got. Oh, this could be super dangerous. If this left on... Oh, it's not going to be checked either. Straight away, easy first kill. Right on the edge of it. Hip's able to finish him with a pistol nicely, and there was no backup, so no refrag to come in here. Gives away a Vandal, but it's still a 4v2, and, and just look at Liquid's position. They're just going to constantly be able to push into the site. Hip's going to have to do some massive heroics here. Starts to spray him down. It's not going to work out. And Liquid looking to secure that series, or the map point even, before even going into their map pick. Fair play. But... Wait. uh in this instance, I think they're showing that it works. I don't know if it, if it will work versus a G2, though. The versus an FPX already oh, be proven. Nice off. from Fear off. The Odin spam's going to net him a kill. Luck has picked up Eccles as well. He's trying to do some more. Oh, Soul Gas, be careful. He's trimming your hair off with that one. <laughs> I think he's got a new hairdo for free as well. Oh, oh, no. There we go. Beautiful stuff, Faroth. This is what we love seeing the old. Yeah. Cryptix is like, I don't want to move. This is horrible. <laughs> I'm safe in my corner. <laughs> oh, no. Maybe not for long. Oh, the smoke is blocking. He's got a little bit of cover with it. Faroth spamming, but the wrong time on that. Cryptix, he's like, okay, how long can I hide here? This smoke's going to fade soon enough. Blast pack's not going to find any success. Scream's just holding the angle, hoping someone's going to make a mistake. Fear can just spam away all he wants as well. He's got so much cover from either side. Must be oh low on ammo. Yeah, he's low on ammo at the moment. 64 <laughs> bullets. You don't see that every day. He's spraying oh, away, but he's got to conserve it a little bit. Only one player. And stuff like that. Like, there's no meta that is currently set worldwide that is like, you have to do this. And it's what works best for the players and, and, and how comfortable the teams can feel. Ooh, dangerous. The spam starts to come through, but hit with no backup there. Liquid just deal with him instantly. No problem at all. And straight away, they're on the back foot. For NIP, as I said, it doesn't feel like comebacks is a staple of the game. It's not something that happens all too often. And now they need it more than ever. Salt is, I love this salt usage. Pushing through to try and oh. keep them in position as the lockdown comes into effect. They capitalize on that map control without giving them any opportunity for kills. Looker, he's actually got his ult as well with his updraft still. So he could get in here and start really doing some damage up above this wall. Oh, no. He's been mollied out. This is where the ult and the updraft comes in. Surely. No, not yet. No, he doesn't want to do it. Fear of spamming away again with the Odin. 